Hello and welcome back. Right, we have a lot of work to do. We truly do. We've got to get all this lot across. And uh, ooh, one thing I'm going to do as well, I'm going to. I want. I always said this. I'd like to try different mods and also to try to make this as believable as possible. So, yeah, we're going to do shake things up now. Then do we? Yeah, they're both repaired. Let's send that over to our fields. It's, I do apologise for how long it's taken me to come back. I truly do. Right, we have got oh, precision farming. Right, I have an idea, a cunning plan, which I think is probably going to be the the most common thing I do. Right, let's grab that last. Let's grab the little four shrit. Grab the other. Now, did we get a th front three point link? didn't, that's the thing that we, mind you, there's not much I can do at the minute anyway to stick on that. Right, okay, let's send that one across to the field as well, and to another field, yeah, we've got two mowers, so we're literally going to send them to, yeah, we're going to do a field each, I think, so we should send you to the smaller ones, what, oh, forgotten we got 72 as well. Wow, okay. Fantastic. Right. Brilliant. Now I'm going to, yeah, I am going to sell this. Let's see how much I would get for it, truthfully. Because it was brand new. One of the few things I actually... Should I get? Ooh, only 7,000. Oh no, it was only 8 grand. Yeah. Right, so we are going to go for something different, something I've had before. But yeah, a bit more believable. Sort of. Sort of, he says. Yeah. To a degree. Right, let's buy that. So it is in... Front loader tools. And... Where are you? It's not the Bale King. It's the modded one that I had on. It's not that one either. Please tell me I've got it loaded back in. Because I am not. Yeah, I refuse to do it without that. It would. That's the one I want. Oh, I have as well. Oh, it might be under. Might be on a telehander actually, or front. Um, the big one. I think you, ah, it is. It's the tall bale. This is it, and we want front loader. I like the red and should we do the main colour? Who's going to use this the most? Hmm, that's a good question. Hmm, yeah, we will. Smash it, we will, that's, yeah, let's put that on. There is a method to my madness. And slightly more believable as well. Now the precision farming, we have got it enabled, we haven't, I'm going to buy Going forward, so I think uh, to begin with, I'm going to be buying the data for a while. I'll get the and the scanner as well. Only gives a 2.5% bonus. So do you know, not really that bothered. Right. So no, Baylor is the top top priority. We'll come back for the other one. Right. Spikes are away. Ooh, it's not liking that at all. It's not turning very well. Really isn't turning very well. No, it's not. We're gonna have to yeah. It's not liking the weight. Let's drop that. Stick that on the front. Of course, now this was my concern, wasn't it? Was the fact that we were unsure as to whether this will actually manage this 250 horsepower beast, because this is only 100... Ah, we've not repaired it. Let's repair it as well. Oh, time. Did that while I was just having a quick look as a reminder on what equipment we'd got and all the rest of it, so... Let's repair the, cl the class 
quadrant. That is not. That's a bit of a tongue twister. That one is. It really is. Forty, it is. Did that yesterday on a um, let no two days ago on Riverside and uh, didn't realise that the maximum size of the bale wrap was two twenty. So I did about five bales before realising until I started to wrap them and it said this bale is not supported and I thought no. <laughs> oh, okay. I presume one of our tractors is holding the everybody up. I presume. Okay, let's have a look what's happening. Elizabeth, what are you? I've just changed the names of these to Star Wars characters, and it's oh, do you know? I've done it about four times. Ridiculous. I would have thought that mod would have had an update. It's never worked properly, ever. And yet it's something I really seriously, really seriously would like. Which is the only reason I haven't taken it off. Because there's nothing else that does it. Oh, this is silly. Now, why aren't you dispersing now? It should be. Let's go across the road. Let's set that one going. Oh, can, oh it's over the... It, it's terrible trying to get hold of a vehicle when it's out underneath the number. Right. Let's set this little beast going. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the... Pause the recording while I create the courses. It's a little, little yeah. I'm not, not going to make habit of it, but it just saves all that faffing around. So I'm going to see you shortly. Right, hopefully that'll save a bit of time. So. It's, yeah, one of the more boring jobs. So I've only done the mowing courses. I've not done anything else. That would be a little bit too. Okay, checked everybody's mowing as well, made sure that's all good. Right, we were, oh that's right, abandoned ship just outside, didn't it? My bad. Is that me holding everyone up? Shouldn't be. Ah no, of course they don't disappear until you go away. When there's something like this, they uh, are ghosts in the machine really. They disappear as soon as we go out of range, which is quite... Then this is, ooh, this is a bit of a, a bit of a train, isn't it? Ooh, really is. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. Okay. Absolutely brilliant. We're gonna have to shut that gate. Smash in. doing that one gate okay, should be well, that's fantastic let's have a look how friends ah, it's so annoying but I renamed them and saved it checked and went in and renamed it and still it's you can't do it as well when you, once you've got workers active oh do you know sometimes right let's grab let's keep, keep grabbing some stuff while we're Let's drop that off. In fact, let's take it in the field. Ready. No point in uh, leaving it on this field when we're going to be sending the mower in here in a minute. That's what I say. We can keep on grabbing. Oh, we need to repair the New Holland as well. Right. 
we also may as well drop the loader and no other one. Let's drop that a bit further in. Right, let's go and grab some stuff to get the rest of the bale stuff. Well, this lot gets cutting. We should get that all cut and then we shall uh, use our fantastic... Well, I say that. Now, I did I did the Twister disservice because I used it again on one of my others. In fact, I loved it so much that I bought it myself. I've got to say, it's not so good for course play, but if you're doing it yourself, it is actually very good. Yeah, course play made... Um, it was more of a mess than anything, it kept on, I had to clean up the entire field because there were bits and bobs that were missing to the point where you thought, what's the point? But when you do it yourself, there's little knacks that you apply, so yeah, not so good for, I suppose it would work as well if you were doing straight lines, traditional farming, which you don't tend to do on a grass field, but yeah, if you were doing straight lines, it's alright, and like all, all mowers really it's a little unforgiving on the corners and balers which is true of them all so that's not really anything that's different to anything else right let's get this shift in we shall pay for our data on the and i think going forwards that probably is the way i'm going to do things until i've got further in the let's play and then i may well although i don't really know it's it's why not pay a professional just to scan the fields rather than buy the it's going to cost an awful lot of money to buy 20 odd grand's worth of equipment so yeah, i think cost effectiveness i think i'll just pay someone else to scan my fields and as I say, the actual A at the fertilizer nitrogen scanner gives you a 2.5% bonus. Again, I know it's 2.5%, but it's, yeah, it's 23 grand, 2.5%. At what point does that become effective? Is all I'm trying to say. Wow. Oh my life. And again. Oh, when are you going to stop? Well, I'm going. Yeah. I was actually going to have to use white car, but you stopped for me, so thank you very much. Much appreciated. Ooh, now this is, yeah, this is what I was saying, actually. I'm going to have to do a bit of argy-bargy on this. Because you cannot... Ah, no, there is another way I can do it, thinking about it. It could be a little bit... and he doesn't seem to want to go. Oh, okay, that'll do. Right, smashing. Let's put this in the other field. In fact, I don't know why I bought the extractor just yet. Let's stick this on the edge. Now that Peter 716, now I have tried one of Peter 716's older maps, and this is, I've got to say, is in my personal opinion, his absolute best to date. There's only one critique that I've always thought about these maps, and that is I've always thought the field edges were way too small, always, on every single one of his maps. Yeah, I remember in... Was it Greenman's, or it might have been Greenman's? Or Greenfields, or something like that. But obviously, it's, this is completely done again. Yes, that one again was, yeah, I, I, in my opinion, that's all I'm saying, I would say that's 52, I'll get 74 underway next, or, no, okay, we shall drag that, right, let's grab this one, who's about to finish two, I'm just borrowing for one minute to drag that, the extractor, and then we'll set him going on the next field, and we shall set the other one on the other, we should get all of our, Scrap you wait again to the front. Again. Alright. These are bigger fields than I thought. 
I am going to go into a time lapse though because we've got are going to rinse and repeat this, and without a time lapse, I would imagine it would be just a tad, yeah, a tad boring. So let's speed this through. now then I'm not sure if we're going to clock those and that's what I was saying you can of course some map makers are too generous which I'd sooner sooner have a feel that was slightly generous on headlands than I would that ones are too narrow again it's personal preference I'm not having a go I'm just saying that it's my opinion yeah I do truly think I know I know it's way too speedy Right, I am going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and girls on the other side.
Right, that is us done. Let's have a look to see how many bales we've done. That's everyone wrapped. Yeah, <laughs> a few little difficulties in a few little spots. we managed to get both of this here. It's a bit tricky. The sheds are... Yeah, I, there's certain farmyards in Farmer Simulator that I have never liked, where they're too narrow or the doorway. Yeah, there was a when Hobo's Hollow. And it's not because in real life it doesn't happen. It's because there's an element to this game that causes stress and that's one of them when you've got to fiddle around in really tight now don't get me wrong we can all do it we can but if you've got to use this day in day out then that becomes an absolute nightmare so yes unfortunately I uh, yeah this is one time and I'm very tempted to actually go back to map editing now that could stay because we could you never know we could do sh chaff at some point we truly could but yeah it's not yeah there's you could probably because it's long and narrow you could probably go straight forwards and stick a couple of things in and i suppose you could come backwards but because you've got this other one oh, i don't know you maybe maybe it's yeah not for the grass stuff i thought but yeah we're gonna have to sort something out definitely i'm not saying i'm not going to use them i'll definitely have another go but yeah it's a bit yeah obviously things like that that's yeah i got a very tall end might be able to put that in the the uh, chaff one the uh, undercover silo, bunker silo. Right, how many did we do? That is the question I want to know. I would like to finish, finish this. 39 bales in the session, 39 bales. That little beast, I only did one at a time because I thought seriously it's going to tip over because it is very small. It was, it's 7.1 tons with all the weight and everything and the bales are 6.5 and it could manage it but I thought if even if I could with physics manage two bales seriously in real life I don't think so so because it's got the very long quick on as well so it's, yeah it would tip it so I thought for realism's sake we shall leave that now what we're going to do is um, I am going to do precision farming but we are going to do what I was on about earlier which is we are going to this is going to cost us I have no doubt we're going to purchase the soil information rather than actually and purchase soil information oh is that oh my life oh, it's nearly all loam the best soil oh and that is all loam Gordon Bennett Now, <laughs> either I've picked the super duper or all of the fields are like Van I mean, there is a bit of green there. Oh, isn't that isn't that rather poetic? That where we shoved the and I didn't know about this because precision farming wasn't open there. The bits where we place the stuff is the sandy loam, which is yeah. The, of of the lo between loam and sandy loam, loamy sand, and sandy loam. There's not much in it. They're both bad for different things, but they're not terrible. Silty clay's the absolute worst. But we've got nearly all loam. That is amazing. So that's fantastic yield. 125% yield. Right. The one thing we are going to do is. Oh, actually, that is a point. We really do need to fertilise spread. Mm. Let's go grab. Let's go off precision farming. We want to grab the yeah, that's the biggest one that ooh, didn't realise I got I must have got clocked at some point to have gone there. Right, now this can have a front three point link. Seriously, that would be a good idea. Now we are gonna buy a proper fertilizer spreader at some point. We really are. Yeah, because this little 18 meter is not ideal. In fact, I think truthfully we are probably better off using the... I didn't want to use the New Holland because... Yeah, I'd already got all this lot on it. So I didn't really uh, want to be dropping it off because obviously I'm going to be using this. Now, I bought this instead of that because what I'm going to do is... It has got... That spikes are retractable. It has also got straps. So I'm going to use the straps for when I'm doing the baler wrapping because it's a bit more realistic. Now I know it's a bit farming simulator and I don't think such a thing exists in the real world but at least we're not piercing the wrap. That's what I was thinking. So yeah, that's what we're going for. We are going to manually do this and I do realise the grass is a little bit different. Um, 
than almost anything else. In so much as if you don't grab it in first growth stage, you can't fertilize. Not with this, not with this kind of fertilizer. Now I know giants suggest um, using either natural fertilizers first, so that we should really do that. But to begin with, we just haven't got the cash to do that. So beggars can't be choosers. We are going to do what? Yeah, what we uh, what we can for now. That's all I'm going to say. Although I have got to be honest, when you look at how perfectly green... Ooh. Right, let's get going. Yeah, this is little old me. I'm going to go straight into another time lapse. Going to do this. Then what we're going to do... I want this session to be about us finishing this. Everything. I wouldn't do this, but I can't speed time up to do the bailing until I do this. So... Yeah, so we've got, I'm going to manually run around all the fields. Some of them are quite small, so it's not going to take a long time. Right, I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side. Is that done now then this is a bit of a quandary we are really gonna have to drop yeah I'd never thought of that now let's have a look at the pH that's the bit that I'm a bit worried about I never actually thought yeah it's very yellowy it could really do with the first top up of lime yeah we're gonna have to do the bailing and the cashing in I think next session it's just gonna take too long we're gonna dump the um yeah we're gonna need a shovel so I haven't got a silo to dump this in at present. I really haven't. So yeah, it's a bit of a shame. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to need to fill this with lime. So 
doesn't go very far with lime, not with the, not especially not the first time that you actually do it as well. So I think we'll stick this, um, yeah, at the back over here. And then let's see. Right, let's get everything limed. That's where we're going to end it. I think we might actually, sp yeah, we might have a bit of fun. I, I did really want to. We'll get it up to the point where we will do the loading of the bales and the selling of them, but we'll leave it at that point. So we'll have a couple of days. I can't remember if I said I'm allowed bank loans or not on this Let's Play. I can't recall. I'm going to have to start writing this on bits of paper and literally leave it on my uh, TV so I know which let's plays because it gets confusing when you're juggling lots I don't very I think I'd yeah I don't think I did if I'm honest I'm Ooh, yeah oh the one thing I'm gonna say I am right Bale King will definitely be one of the first things we need to buy this did manage but it was uh, at some points down to uh, 3 kph which is pretty much one mile an hour so yeah fairly fairly bad truthfully right, we're gonna do this manually as well this will not last as long as that In fact, we'll, yeah let's start this for you first it starts to go a bit wobbly we need a sort of definitely a heavier tractor pr for this as well I would say this is a f it's been a fantastic tractor though I'm very very well pleased with the new Holland it's I mean it did a cracking job of using that bather for saying it's yeah I mean it isn't ultra powerful but it's it really has done us absolutely proud got us through so much at the beginning really has very very pleased with it start bobbling now yeah it's not so don't know why it's worse with lime than it is with fertilizer but it is I don't understand why yeah Let's see if we lower the box whether that will give us a bit of a should give us a lower center of gravity really It's precision farming. Do you know I have a terrible habit for doing that? I really have. Right, field one. Let's get these all done. That did very, very well on uh, lime, really. Yes, we need something like the sort of weight of one of my go-to tractors, the uh, Case Magnum or the Case um, 7250 Pro. They're both fantastic for just about managing to use this equipment without going skittering. This is not quite... surprises me though, it's a 6.3 tonner. done and then yeah I'm going to go into a time lapse again and then we'll have a proper chat just at the end as we speed up time get through to where we would be cashing in on these and yeah we should see what's on the sales if there's anything we need we'll uh, take a loan out because obviously it'd just be a bridging loan because we know there's quite a bit we definitely want the Bale King top priority though is to begin with a better fertilizer spreader it really is that's number one and um, I know we've got the sprayer, but again, 
weeds. You know, that's something as well that's changed. The weeds with um, precision farming, and I'm not. Yeah, there's an awful lot of people with not enough. None of us really know the environmental thing. There's a lot of people guessing about things. Um, I know you have to take the wrap off bales to do away with the environmental thing, or I've been told, but it's not something I've figured out myself. I know you're supposed to fertilise if it's crop when there's lots of leaves on the crop itself, not not like a, it, like I am doing now. But this is grass. Grass is a bit different anyway. It always was. Right, let's see if we can get that little tiny patch there. Oh wow! Yeah, brilliant. Now that's more like it. That's one of our biggest fields, though. Yeah, I'll do 52 next. Get everything done over this side. Then we'll do our biggest field across the road. We may need to come back, I would say. Well, let's just certainly get through the last bit of our money. Still, it will. It's yeah, well worth it. Oh, I mean, of course, I suppose actually we spent a fortune on the uh, precision farming elements, didn't we? That was... Yeah, it did cost us quite a bit. And the fertiliser... The lime, not a lot really, but it, it does add up when you're doing lots and lots of it. Oh, not quite. Out at the gatepost. I stuck on there. I say, I should be stuck now. Right, yeah, there's a few little bits of grass that really, you know, needs. Well, hey ho, it is what it is. Right. Time lapse. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
Right, that is pretty much it. Absolutely fantastic. So we are now, that's all fully pH'd, fully lime, fully fertilised. Well, yeah, as good as it's going to get. It's as good as with the equipment that we've got. We've got the data, field data though, so it's not bad. We've not done badly. We're just now, yeah, stick these back where they were. And wait for the silage bales to go off and see what happens over the next couple of days. That's as much fun as we're going to have. And the next session, we should get the bales cashed in. There is that is quite a lot of bales, quite a lot of energy for us, and quite a lot of. Uh, did I? Oh, I don't think I did. Did I? I think I've not bought the. Um, no, I hide it last time. Leased it, didn't I? To make all the money, we didn't buy it. I don't think. I'm sure, we didn't. Sorry, I'm speaking the speaking in riddles now, aren't I? Yeah, the um, digestate. Uh, Carrier. Let me just have a look. I don't think I did. I know I... It's under tray, this. No, no, just got the Rudolph. Yeah, so we need to buy that as well. So that's another top priority, truthfully. Right, we are going to rest. We've done all the work we can do. No, 8 o'clock, definitely. Let's see what's... Oh, did I check the sales today? Oh, I think I did. I think I briefly remember doing it when we first came on very briefly. I'm sure if there was anything stupendous I would have noticed. Right, let's have a look. Sales. Yeah. Tempted, but I think I'm going to go for what I know is a fantastic machine for 70 grand. So, let's have a look. They should be half fermented. One more day. Oh, I forgot it doesn't like it, you're doing it in that. Yeah, half a set, half fermented. It'd be about half 10, 11, sometimes dinner time. Depends on when you did it. So, right, one more day. 8 o'clock start. Oh, I should have done it 9. It's been quite a long session, this has. I knew it would be. I did know it was quite difficult, especially because we're not quite there equipment wise. We're all right. Mowers are okay. But yeah, we really a uh, telehandler as well. I think with us doing this, please bear with me as well. It's not going to remain grass work for long, and I know it's a bit of a chore. To but I, I actually enjoy it, but not everyone does, and I do know this. Right, this should be in a little while. Yeah, ninety-six percent. Okay, what's in the sales? Six R still, and oh, forage wagon. Now that is that is good. We could do the chaff then, but to be honest, no. Why, why would I? Why would I want to buy that as well? There may be not. Maybe something later on. But yeah, right. We shall speed time up. Just make sure. Now these were the last, last ones, weren't they? So let's just speed time up. Just in fact, no. That was the last field. This one here was the last ones to be bailed. So when these say that they are ready, they are ready. Everything's ready. Ninety-nine. We're done. Right, smashing. That's everything done. So next session then we shall um is this fully grow no it's not second growth stage, it needs one more growth stage. I suppose there actually then we could could do one more Yeah, that that green there's the real full. Yeah, let's go on one more. It looks yeah. I would have done a bit more, but right, so I want to cut this always when it's at its best, so <laughs> One more. It's not going to make any difference to the silage bales. We'll just load those quickly next session first. Oh, I suppose that was technically a silly thing. I would have got a nice digestate and stuff out of it. It was a little silly. Oh, well, it's, it's done now. It really is. Ah. Oh. Wow. That's got to be a yes. I don't ever want to go back to auto loading per se, but I don't mind semi automatic, realistic, and that is just too good a price for us to miss. So, yes, hope I said bank loans are on that. I'm sure I did, but to be honest, if I didn't, what I would do anyway, because we could we would be putting our money in 
we, yeah we've got it's a bridging loan it's not even a proper loan is it because we're actually going to earn a fortune but this this is why really I should have done it the other way which was take those in last night because we would have got a big payout for the energy we'd have been able to afford that outright right anyway let's let's loan that for now have a bridging loan so we want yeah yeah because we're going to no, do five grand more Oh, I can't believe that. I've never had one of the squares, ever. One of the uh, square RQ sons. Really haven't. Always wanted one. And now we have got one. That is amazing. I couldn't have asked for something more. I know it's, yeah, it wasn't the most, but you just can't look a gift horse in the mouth like that. It's perfect. One thing we're going to do is we're going to fetch that. We really are. Yeah, let's use our biggest, best distractor. We'll go grab that for next time. Oh, oh. Yeah. That means I'm going to have to wrap, single wrap things there. Oh, my, do you know I can cut the bales? I can. Yeah, I'm being silly. Get rid of the uh, baler wrap before we put them in. In fact, now going forwards, if we're going to be doing that, we can actually make l massive tubes so we don't need to keep. I was only doing that for manual bay loading. So now we've got the RQ sand. That is it's going to make things a lot different. So we want the RQ sand. Pay that loan off. That's top priority. You don't want to have carry the, le the debt. So pay that off. Get a fertilizer spreader. And if we have to manage once more because of buying the RQ sand a bit out of turn we will do yeah definitely right okay yeah we are going to go into traditional farming as soon as we possibly can we really are right all repair take this over to our fields. We're going to do the rest though next time. <laughs> right. This still looks in good condition. Whoever had it looked after it. Brilliant. So next time we have the pleasure of using the RQ Sun. That's absolutely amazing. And we shall yeah, we'll set the motors going in this section. Oh, I should have really, I have done this silly now because I'm going to have to be working at a time when I was just truthfully trying to earn the money. But the way I've done it now, I've got to cut the fields because obviously it's the best and I'm going to waste a cut. Yeah, doing it this way though, I think I'm going to only get two cuts out or I might, no, I might get the October one can still cut in November but yeah it doesn't grow again until the year after so you, you're sort of shooting yourself in the foot for the next year if you do do that so swings and roundabouts I'd sooner not have to wait an awful lot yeah alright this is going to be tight Ooh, it's going to just scrape it is This really is going to be... Wow, by the skin of my teeth. Right next session then cut these bales open stick them on, now that's the point I've never done that I have never ever done that so let's just see if you can load them I presume you can, there's still a square bale Fantastic. Right. Smashing. That's all I wanted to know. 
great next session then we're going to have the fun of doing that right smashing right excellent I am very very pleased I have been a bit silly though doing it that way round yeah I'm still not sure whether we're going to go three. No, I think juggling two. But I, I do think we've got to be a bit cleverer with doing things like fertilising spreading. I think I'm going to have to juggle a bit better. Although it does start to get a bit complicated and a bit stressful if you if you go into that extent. So, But it is better if you can start your liming process as you finish the field. I think I'm, yeah, I probably am really to be honest. But I need the better spreader first with a bit, a bit of a better thing on it so right anyway without any further ado I'm going to say thank you very much for watching I hope you're going to continue on this journey with me I think there are exciting times ahead I truly do definitely yeah I think our little fields are going to set us going and then eventually we shall turn 54 and I'm going to go 54 72 I'm going to keep 52 69 and 70 as the grass fields makes more sense I was going to do 52 as a but if we've got to go through 54, we're also going to have to do a bit of a good path coming through 54, or we're going to trample the crop down. Although, no, I, I suppose we're going to have to choose wisely on what crop we do, because we're going to have to choose either the same crop where you can cut the outer field first to get into the inner field, or, yeah, that, or a crop that's finished, that's harvested in the same month. Anyway, I am now going honest. I'm going to say goodbye for now.